This is Matt Desch again. I feel like I'm a regular contributor to the SpaceX program because this is our third launch, third out of eight, which is crazy. It's unprecedented, and I really appreciate all of those who've, who've been following SpaceX launches and who've been following us and have been rooting us along. It's working. Thank you and keep it up. But those of you who are watching your, your first Iridium launch, let me tell you a little bit about what Iridium does. Iridium is a communication supplier. In fact, we're the world's furthest reaching, most global communication provider in the world. We provide service to every part of the planet through 66 satellites going around the Earth, uh, all in low Earth orbit, about 780 kilometers above us, all interconnected in space, providing a mesh network of communication that covers every part of the planet, no matter uh, where an asset that needs to be tracked needs to be. Just to give you an example of how our satellites operate. So whether you're on a ship in the ocean or in an airplane, say going over the North Pole, or you're on Mount Everest with a satellite phone, when you turn it on, it makes a connection to whatever satellite happens to be overhead. And there's a new one every eight to 10 minutes. So particularly for those in harm's way or, or hunkered down in a, a warm spot in a very cold place, they don't have to go to the top of the mountain to point towards a satellite someplace in space. Our satellites will come to our customers and, and provide them that connection. Because of the way we operate, we're really a specialty service. We provide a unique safety capability that works when no other communication device works. We're used in hurricane recoveries, we're used in earthquakes, we're used for making connections to first responders and protecting safety of life during emergencies. It's the most important things really go across our network. That's where Iridium performs best and that's what we're really best at. Today almost half of our the devices on our network, almost half a million devices, are really connections to things. And in fact, you don't even know that Iridium is on your bus or on your ship or on your airplane, making a connection, sending information about the engine or the performance or the altitude or speed or the temperature or the humidity. It's sort of behind the scenes and yet so important to really make machinery and equipment and things run. Our satellites can quickly, efficiently send data back and forth about anything, really, whether it's a piece of heavy equipment or you know, in the oceans, where there is no connections, you have buoys, things that protect us from tsunamis that can provide early warning, making a connection to a refrigerator container as it travels across the ocean to ensure you know, the cheese and the wine that are within those are, are stored at the proper temperature and they never broke down and were put onto trucks, service vehicles, railway cars, militaries put us onto MRAPs and tanks and trucks so that no matter where they put them, they know where they'll find them. Under manhole covers, there are systems that relay information about the height of the water in a sewer pipe to ensure that there's not overflows. We're used in remote cameras to send pictures back of important things like animals or to protect trees or to have other security. We're used on border patrol for monitoring remote locations and allow people to call and to track and to have sensors that can tell whether something moved across a certain area. You can't depend that there's always going to be a cell tower in those places. These new satellites are going to make that business run even more efficiently. It's exciting to see these things you've worked so long get into orbit and get into operation, especially we're excited because the first 20 have been working so well, I really want to get the remaining 55 satellites into orbit as quick as I can. So launch three, don't get tired of me. I'm going to be back over and over again almost every two months until we complete this amazing network and see it all in space.